Hello, my name is Carol Flavin. I, I'm a railway modeler and I have a layout which is called the Edge Hay and Strines Railway. I also have a YouTube channel and there are a number of videos on my YouTube channel explaining how I made quite a lot of the aspects of this layout. One thing I did want to do though was make a video about how I experimented with lighting it. It was something I always intended and wanted to do and I did need to come up with different ways that suited me and my skills and my abilities and I've really enjoyed doing it. So there are aspects of the layout that I've lit. There's a factory, there's railway arches, there's a church, there's a castle, there's a village, there is a little hamlet and there is a harbour, all of which I have lit. So I'm going to show you what they all look like with their lighting, talk a little bit about how I did it and I hope you get some interesting ideas from watching this. I started doing my lighting in the manufacturing area and I lit the buildings, I lit underneath the canopies and I put street lights in. The street lights are in the manufacturing area, they're also along where the arches and the retaining wall are. So I'm going to do a little video clip here along the manufacturing area, peeping over the top to Holtz Wine Merchants, which actually belongs to my daughter and son-in-law. It's a real place. And then across to the church and to a ruined castle and a village. This is the factory at night. So similar shots to the ones I've shown you before, along the length of the manufacturing area and the arches, and across to the street light that's outside Holtz Wine Merchants, and also the canopy and one of the buildings. This is a more detailed and longer series of shots along the length of the layout, the manufacturing area, because actually I was really rather pleased with this. Um, the lighting system is the Woodland Scenics Just Plug system, which I've found quite useful actually, quite easy to use. And I was very fortunate to be given quite a lot of it to start with. So I only really needed to top up what I needed. Uh, over there you can see the church. You can also see the castle, which is lit at night and the beginning of some of the lighting around the village. You've caught a glimpse of Edgehay village before, so I'm going to show you a bit more detail. This is a village that as a, I have a, a video of how I made it on my YouTube channel. It's a Yorkshire stone village. I lit this village using LED lights. And these were small LED lights with a handheld controller and I put the LED lights into the houses and some into the streets and I could switch them all on using this controller. It worked very well till the batteries started running out Then they became a bit of a pain because you had to unscrew each one of them and add additional batteries into them. But it was an experiment and for a period of time it looked very good. These are a couple of the little LED lights and their controller. I bought them from eBay and they're okay. Above the village, there is a castle and a church. I made the castle from an, from an aquarium castle, which I painted up, and the church is a Metcalf one. I have a video of this on my YouTube channel. I've been very pleased with this because I took the aquarium castle, painted it, adapted it, and added figures. The ruined castle can be lifted off and become a diorama. So I lit it to make it look quite dramatic and I used the Just Plug system to do that. And of course I painted it to look as dramatic as that as well. The church sits next to the castle. It's also a diorama. It has people enjoying a wedding outside. And I lit that also with the Just Plug system so that the stained glass windows shine out across the layout. I enjoyed making Strines Hamlet. It's a favorite place of mine and an article has appeared in British Railway Modelling about it. The mountains behind it have also been in Railway Modeller. 
I wanted to light this as well. So it has the just plug street lights and each of the buildings have lights in them. I had to repaint the church though when I realised the light shone through the walls of it. The harbour has a lighthouse which I did want to be flashing. So I drilled a hole up the middle of it and put one of the just plug lights in it. And I was actually quite pleased with the effect because it had belonged to my father and I had wanted to incorporate it. These are a few more views of the harbour across to the slipway and to the boathouse some of the boats on the water, and also one of the fishing vessels. And again, I lit this at night and managed to get some really quite nice shots across the water, shining out. And there are also one or, other, one or two other shots, again of the boathouse, but at night. And this is my favorite, again at night, but up onto the boathouse and the slipway enjoyed that. I hope your imagination and it may have been fired up by some of the ideas that I have um, incorporated in this little video. It was something I wanted to do. I'm so glad I did. Some of it isn't working as well as it did originally. Um, I, I do intend to revisit parts of it, particularly the village, because of course those LED lights weren't actually particularly successful. Well, they were while well, they, they worked, but the minute the batteries started going, they became quite annoying and actually quite expensive replacing the batteries. But the just plug system worked for me, but I'm quite sure a lot of other people would say, well, I don't need the just plug system, I can do it myself. Of course you can. I think part of the secret though, is to make, to bring the model alive with your lighting so that it attracts the eye across the layout. It draws people's eyes towards some of the aspects of the modeling and actually makes you want to explore it further. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sure I will be, well, I know I will be making some more videos. There are a number of them in the planning and as and when I finish them, I will put them up on my YouTube channel. I hope to speak to you again soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.